work in progress on this baby doll that I'm doing. I just know baby. She's just a little porcelain doll. She's going to be a, a, a gothic girl. And so what's going on with her is that she is a smaller doll than my typical doll. And where my other ones are about seven, 16, 17 inches tall. And something I like to talk about this size doll is that they're just as much work as my larger dolls. I mean, their heads, their little feet and everything, and pretty much the same size as a regular doll. They just have a very small body. And re the reason I don't like to do a lot of these dolls, I have a few stashed away somewhere. I don't even know where they are. The reason I don't like to do a lot of these dolls is because I I did put the work in them into them and people are like, I don't want to pay that much. I think I have a couple for sale now that are a little bit on the smaller side. But I love the smaller ones. I think it looks really cute to have all the different sizes. So I think it works well. And I do try to include props and things like that to make them a little bit more enticing. But I don't like to compromise my price on these dolls. And here's one of the reasons why. I don't know what happened to her clothes over the years. She's just kind of lost track of her clothes. And, uh, or, or maybe she didn't have any, because when I did her originally, did her, painted her white and did all of her work, originally, not her drawing, but just got her ready, I had all my little clothes together. So, I don't know, I don't know what happened to her clothes. So what I'm doing is I have pulled out I save everything. I bought a bunch of baby clothes, and in the baby clothes, I had this adorable little um, top, but the top has some damage to it right here. So I saved it because I just love that, just this area right here. I can see using this little area for a, a doll. And you see the little, oh, no, it's knocked off the ottoman. And you see this little piece right here where I can kind of separate it out. And I have enough fabric to make her some precious little sleeves and things. But when I put it on, like, with this doll, it's a little bit too wide. And I decided I would rather save this one for a doll that's a little bit bigger. And kind of make this a baby outfit and make it uh, more like a the christening gown. And use this on a little bit bigger doll. So I have a lot of baby dolls I can put that on. But I love using the old fabrics. Now, this is a weird thing that came out of some baby clothes that, I mean, most people would just throw away. See, it's got a little shoe marks on it. Probably a mouse or something got a hold of. And it's not a really cute piece. It's kind of weird looking. But what I love about it is that it's so, you know, washed and worn and thin and more like a baby fabric anyway. But this, I'm pretty sure, was meant for dolls. Pretty narrow, so yeah. So the sleeves, so it's really small. So I don't think that would fit a child. So this is for some kind of doll. I don't know what this outfit is. It's got one half of a tie here. So if it tied together there, there's no closures. It's some kind of a, a robe. But this right here, I don't understand what that's about. So what I would do in this case is just to take all this apart and just use the fabric for that that's you know usable. And I do have some spots and stains. I'm not terribly worried about it because you know my dolls this is gonna get dyed anyway and this will take the dye really well because it's got a lot of cotton in it it's probably all cotton actually uh, and then you know the it has a really sweet little very delicate lace and you know me and my lace get a little crazy about the lace but I can pull that off I mean it is machine made obviously but I can just pop that lace off and I wanted to get a quick video of it and the before because I'm so bad about not having before so my thoughts are I really want to show off her legs so I would make her just a little pair of bloomers out of the pink so just make her a little pair of bloomers and just probably make her a very a small dress and little, little sleeves this way I can make something that fits her and it really shows off her little uh, her little legs and her little body so she's got her little dirty ankles she's so nasty She's really nasty. Her little calves. So I had a lot of fun with her. I can't remember if this is... I got some new charcoal. I'm going to show some more works in progress videos. But I got a new piece of charcoal. This is not the new stuff. Uh, I, I can tell now looking at it. I'm just all my focus today. But she's got, this, she's got those kind of... A, dark blue gray eyes that I just love that color and they are super dark look at that but see that gray oh come on focus I haven't done her hair yet I mean I put it on and but it's still 
I haven't wet it to kind of get the, the style back. I think there's some fuzz or something in it. Oh, that's a, hmm, what is that in your hair, girl? And I can see with the video. I can't see it with my own eyes. I think that's just a seam. But anyway, I love her. She's got a cute little expression. Look at that. And one thing I wish I had done when I was putting her together, and I could still do it. Let me see what I got going here. Yeah, I mean, I could, I could work on her. I did this. I would hate to undo it. But, you know, something I've learned since making her is if I take the stuffing out of the arms, it makes them more where they'll bend better. But with all that stuffing, they have nowhere to go. And the wire can't bend. And then by <coughs> loosening, sorry, losing my voice. It's early in the morning. For me, it's early in the morning. But anyway, by uh, popping that off and see it's glued, I would rather it not be glued in place. That way her head will turn. And I really like the ones whose heads turn so you can post them more. I may do a little bit more work on her because I, I would rather, I'm, I've been doing that to my, my dolls now before I start painting them. I'm starting to take them apart and uh, loosening their arms. And she just was one of those I, I started before. I'd painted everything. Maybe look into doing that for her. But she's a cutie patootie, and I don't have, like I said, I have some of these dots. I just have them all put away. I only have a few that I'm working on this year that will be the smaller size. So keep an eye out for those. And if this is not in focus, I am so sorry. I do not know what's going on in my focus today. It is not like in my lighting or something. Yeah. All right, so pink fabric gonna dye it gonna totally repurpose this outfit another thing that I have and I'll have to go dig those out I have a lot of Feltman baby clothes that have stains or tears or whatever you know damage to them that I've saved because I wanted to keep the buttons for other you know Feltman or tiny you know the teeny 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 tiny buttons so I've I've held on to those things I hoard the weirdest stuff but Oh, me and my lace. I'd be digging that lace. I'm definitely using the lace on this. So I think it's going to be a lot of fun to repurpose this. So let's see what happens. So I've had some time to work on my little doll dress. And what I did was I uh, made her some little bloomers. And I took the dress, used the sleeves from the original, you know, gown or jacket or whatever it was. So I used those. I just trimmed them down and gave them a, just a little, a uh, little, Wow, well, little gather here. There's a name for that. I can't think of what it is. Let's just call it a gather for now. And I gave it a little, made it a little fuller, a little ruffle. I don't know. That's not the word I want. Anyway, that's a fibromyalgia today. No words coming to my brain. What I did try to do was uh, utilize all the lace that was on that little outfit. Now, how about my thumbnail? Anyway, just something silly I thought I'd do. Anyway, the, the, so this is some of the lace, and here's a little piece that when I sew it all on her, I'm going to add that around her neck, and, you know, of course, I trimmed out her little sleeves, and on the back, I had this little area right here. I thought, oh, well, I have just one little piece left. I'll just kind of stick it on her little, you know, back end right here. Now, I thought about this after the fact, because if I thought about it before, I would have, like, sewn it into the seam. But I, so I had to go back and hand stitch it in place. A lot of hand stitching, a lot of thinking about, you know, I did something, go, oh, I need to do something else with it. The other idea I had, this was straight, and I decided to pull a little gather in here, and you kind of draw that in. Just kind of gave this a little bit more personality when it's on her, it kind of pooches out some. Where before, I just had it gathered in the back right here. So this strip right here came from the whole trim around the, the whole, um, the whole front, I can't talk, wow. Came from the front of the robe. So I reused that, and so this area right here was was gathered on the robe, and I just, after taking it apart, I was like, you know, I, I think I can work with that. So I regathered it and brought it back in to kind of help make this little shape. Now, on the doll, she's so cute. Her little head, it, I can turn it. I kind of worked the paint loose so it would turn, so now I can, I can position her head differently. I made the dress. At first, I made it small. Uh, it was like this short, and then I was going to hem it or something. I had some ideas. And then her little bloomers, and it was showing off a lot of her body. But then I kind of liked the idea of her looking like she's wearing something that's more for a baby, or maybe even sort of the christening gown kind of look. Uh, 
And so I made ended up adding a lot more ruffle. I was going to just put a little bit of ruffle around here, but I said, no, I want, I want to go ahead and utilize a lot more ruffle and go ahead and make it longer. It's going to hide some of her body, but you can always see it. So when she has her little shorts on, I can scooch them up some so you can sort of see her knees and then her little arms. These do kind of draw up to her arm, but her dress is more like a gown or something. It's pretty big, pretty wide on her as well. So I, I kind of liked it. I thought... Um, you know, I just want to have some fun with it. I may do some other things like put pleats in it or something just to make it a little bit narrower for her. So we'll see. But I have to dye it because I don't want it pink. So it's going to be black when I get through or gray when I get through. So I'll get back. So I have a little change of plans here. I have this doll that I got uh, with a bunch of other toys. And you see it's got pink marks on its face. So I'm thinking about making this into a little clown. And I love the little outfit, and I could have just used this the same outfit and just put some pom-poms on it or whatever to make it more of a clown outfit. But I want to do something a little bit more colorful with this doll. So I'm going to use this outfit instead of the one I made because I tried it on this baby, and it fit really cute because it, it was in a, such a size that it would show off her knees and her arms better than the thing I made. I really want to show off her little features. So I'm going to use my dress for someone else and just dye this and make this work for her. But I have another, I have more of a plan for this because I didn't like the fact that it was so, so much of a jumper. So I think what I'm going to do is use some of my eyelet and just kind of go around the waist and make a skirt. And then I'm going to use this as part of, this is all stretched out. So I'm going to use this as a little, like kind of like a belt. It'll be a little bit around her chest more than her waist, but make this a little addition where I sew my eyelet on. I'm going to kind of cover it with that. So this ought to be interesting. And then I'll dye it black and all that good stuff and make her adorable. So I added this little um, eyelet to my dress, a little bit of ruffle to it. And then I put the bow around, the little head bow. This is a little piece of one on the other doll's head and it was all stretched out. So I added it around the, you know, like the chest piece it kind of goes around this. A little bit high for the waist. It's a high-waisted little outfit. And then see how cute it's going to be. Now when this is on her, this is actually a little shorter. It fills out more. So just right there at her knees, it hits about right there. Anyway, I can't wait to get her all put together. So this is little Nettie. And that's short for Annette. And she has a gigantic bunny that comes with her. And her bunny is, right now I just have it pinned into her skirt with a, like a corsage pin. It is a corsage pin or a hat pin or something. So anyway, on her, she has a little spider on her bow right here. Let me pull my little guy off. Can't get it off. I need two hands, obviously. Okay. So it's one of these pins that is now stuck in my finger. So it's this type pin. So there he is. I'll give you a little zoom in. This came from another doll, and I dyed it to give it that sooty look that I'm so fond of. Now, one cute thing about... Oh, in my own shadow. I've moved my area where I do my videos, and I'm in, now realize it, I'm casting a severe shadow, so I've got to move it again. Anyway, this is um, her little head will turn a little bit and it, with a little effort it takes two hands. And what I just, I made her another dress and so you saw that earlier in the video. So I think that made a precious, perfect little outfit because the original outfit I had, the sleeves were kind of long and it didn't really show off her little sweet little arms. This doll has some really cute little hands. Look, they're so tiny. And she's got a sweet little face. She is a lot smaller than a typical doll. I just happen to have, whoops, have one handy to show you the difference. Let me back up. So now you can see she is a little girl. She's only 10 inches tall where uh, this one who is uh, Mikela, she is 15 inches tall. She's a little bit, she's actually a little shorter than a typical doll. A lot of my dolls are about 16 inches. So. She's just a tiny girl. Now, I don't have many, I have one other doll th that's even smaller than her that I'm working on, and you'll be seeing her eventually because I have begun to work on her now. And I'm making her dress. It's taking me a little extra time. 
anyway, so that's, so then this would be my, you know, next to the smallest. Now, I did do one other smaller doll, and she's already sold this year. So, anyway, she, she's got a sweet little face with a pretty little blue, blue-gray eyes that I love. I love this color eye. It's my favorite color. And her hair is, like, so, so soft. I use some very fine hair on her, right around her face, and you can tell, I you see a little color change right here. I wanted this really kinky stuff. I only had like a little tiny piece, just enough to go right there, and then I just blended it in with some other hair. And I gave her little crazy ponytails. So she looks kind of like a toddler age. This is the back of her little dress. And then I drew her little calves and her ankles. So she's got, just go shop her little legs. Now she doesn't sit. Her body is really stiff and rigid. So she and she can't even move her arms as far as that goes. It's just the, how the doll is made. And so now you see I've done her head this way. Now I'm gonna start in, inserting some photos that I took of her. So you can wet her little piece of bangs right here in order to get them to curl up again. I just kind of left her fluffy. I wanted, you know, I always like that little bit of hair falling into their face. <laughs> she has some black ribbons. You can see them catching the light here. They don't show it very well, but they do catch the light. And they're kind of, you know, nice considering all her little stained up dress. Now, one thing, uh, when I dye, I, dye, I do dilute my dye. I don't know how much this would have actually taken, this little poly cotton blend. And I was using a cotton dye on it. I don't do solid black because, well, it's just really hard to get solid black, to be honest. I know a lot of people are, are pretty good at it, but I do, I dye by the piece, so typically I, I just do a bag, you know, put it in a Ziploc bag and dye it, and I don't put a whole lot of concentrated dye on it. But anyway, because I, I like some of the details to still show up. So that's just another image of her with her little head turned. And here she is with her head straight. And like I said, you can turn, I mean, turn around backwards if you wanted to. But I think I stick to that. Now, one of the things that happened when I was had to cut her head loose, it was glued down. And when I was doing it, I'd point this out. I did take a little bit of paint off her neck right there. But it covers up with her collar, so you really can't see it. But anyway, sorry about those shadows, guys. I really got to regroup here. So I'm going to do a couple of videos today, and they'll be in the shadow because I really need to get these posted. But I just wanted you to get a good look at uh, Annette, or little Nettie. And she's, she's a fun little girl, and she's going to look great with some of her big sisters and stuff. I would hope one of my collectors get this to add to their other dolls, and I will be notifying them to say, Hey, you got to see this baby, and let them know that this is perfect for their dolls. Mm -hmm.